Today's video is brought to you by Purple and DoorDash. So one other caveat, uh, these are the original prices of the items, not like auction prices they've gone for on eBay, like the original, sure. what they cost when you purchased them. Okay, okay, I get that, I get that. Cause I buy rare sneaks every yeah. once and again. Yeah. And typically they're for availability sales, uh, like 90 DeLoreans. Yeah. And then ultimately I end up spending like 150 buckaroos, uh, which is weird because the conversion from DeLorean to the buckaroos is really odd. I mean, it's change. it's in flux frequently. It's in it's flux. like Bitcoin. Yes. Yeah. You get it. Stonks. Hey, hey brother. brother. And welcome everyone to another edition of J versus Ben, where today we are going to be trying to correctly guess the prices of the most expensive Marvel merch. Let's do it. In case you're new to this particular J versus Ben format, which it has been a while. It has let's, been a while. Let's take a peek back at the last time and how different my beard was. Hey brother! And happy Thanksgiving everybody. Today we are going to be doing a special kind of Black Friday shopping edition of... Wow, that's different! Man, I was having a good hair day. You were having a great hair day, and too bad you're not today though. I'm actually just trying to lower your confidence before we go into this. I'm <laughs> oh, kidding, you I look see. amazing. I see. This is how it's going to work. We play absolute value rules, meaning that we are not playing prices right rules effectively. Basically, so, whatever the actual price is, we will be scored points based on how far we are away from that price, whether above or below. Correct. You want the lowest score at the end of this game. So it's like golf. It's like golf, except guessing prices. I love it. Yes. Feels like basically the same thing. Basically the same thing. It's all about follow through and how you face your hips, mostly, and how well you guess the prices. Also, everything's under $10,000, so we don't totally go off the charts. Can people play along at home? If you want to play along at home, by all means, please do. Let us know how much better at golf you are than us. Focus on those hips, people. Yeah! Item number one. Now, the first five, item, five items in this quiz are from the Marvel Masterworks collection, and you can no longer purchase them. Okay. Marvel uh, Masterworks collection. But we do know what they originally went for. Cool. Up first is the Captain America shield with Black Panther claw marks. <laughs> This is from the Mas Marvel Masterworks collection. It is an authentic film prop duplicate. They made 50 of them. They are hand embellished and authentic film props. It says that a lot here in my notes. And it comes in a Pelican case similar to those used by the head of props to transport the onset props. Holy so it is like- cow. Okay, so the, thing that, the, the thing that got me is the Pelican case. Because Pelican cases by themselves- Kind of expensive. Kind of expensive. Yeah. Especially like a one that I have a feeling where like the foam is perfectly cut. You yeah, know, like and certainly. Like, like it would like even have like a satisfying like. But so you know that's built into the price. Yeah, like, well it has like to you're be. Buy, yeah, you're buying, you're also buying a Pelican case. They're not like, all right, yeah, yeah, like, well, you know, we'll cut into our own profit margins for that. No, yeah. you're, you're buying the you're case buying as well. You're buying the case as well. Only 50 and made when ordered is what stands out to me as like, oh, that's, that's like, it's like when you order a restaurant and they're like catch of the day, like market price. You're like, okay. Okay. All right. How bad do I want that fish? <laughs> Did, what does, I don't know what that means. It's, I tend to believe that market price is going to be more reasonable. But no, maybe I don't think so. Drastically mm -hmm. less think reasonable? Drastically less reasonable. <laughs> okay. I think it's, if they're not listing the prices like upon request. It's like, like oh. oh gosh, this, ah. Oh. Oh. How much would you pay for like a, just a genuine cap shield? Please. With the claw. With the claw quite, marks. Quite frankly, a lot. Quite frankly, a lot. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, yeah. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is, this is so dangerous because you could so quickly go off the rails and just be way off by thousands of dollars. Yep, I know. This is, it okay. feels, it feels dangerous. And this is, the other thing about this game is that if you're drastically off on thousands, it's like, if some of the other items are only a couple hundred bucks, yeah. then that distance that you lose is all of a sudden, it's hard to make up. Okay, I'm ready though. I'm ready? ready. Three, two, one. I said 4,500. I said 6,500. Oh, okay, so you went, you went big too. Maybe it's 5,000. Oh, or... hopefully it is. Oh gosh. <laughs> the correct price on the Captain America shield with Black Panther Claw is $4,100. Oh my yes! gosh. Oh man, that's so close. Oh. oh, amazing. Great start, great start. Apparently I would just be super had 
because <laughs> my perceived value is way, oh my gosh, a bargain. It apparently just means you're a bigger cat fan than me. Oh, maybe that's what it is. That's really what yeah. it is. You're like, what is only worth 45 to you, Jay? <laughs> wow. Okay. wow, 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 wow. So Jay's in the lead. Yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> All right, especially, hopefully more of these items are expansive. Mm. I think so. Item number two, also from the Marvel Masterworks collection is an Iron Man Mark I helmet. <sighs> okay, I'm looking at the notes. It also says another limited edition of 50. Yes. Again, made when ordered. Oh my goodness. Well, do, but does it come in a Pelican case? It does not. Oh, well, that's, you know, well, knock off a couple hundred for that. Easily, you know. Easily. Okay, I'm gonna go, mm, this is where I'm at. See, now we have sort of like a reference. I know, like, we you do. Can, like, you can like, okay. And then and then it comes into account, like, are you, like, is the value derived from the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invent a word, the iconicity of it? Oh. Iconicity? That's really what I wanted. Iconicity. Iconicity? Because arguably, Cap Shield, more or a greater level of iconicity than than this mask than this mask but also this is like the mask from the movie that kicked everything off true that so and maybe it's like historicalness historicalness <laughs> which gives it its own value and then the other question is materials cost right like cap shield big flat disc versus this could be like meaty thick metal right so for reference cap shield uh was made of aluminum and foam Okay. And this is made of resin and leather. Resin and leather lined helmet. I'm really surprised they didn't use the full vibranium, but whatever. I know, I know, I know. It was a fictional metal. <laughs> anyway, if they tried hard enough, they could have found it. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. far I've got a dollar sign written down, followed by these numbers. Oh, this is just terrible handwriting. I'm gonna fix it. I don't think it's better. Anyway, three, two, one. I said, oh, I went five. So see, now we're, I went 5,000. Oh, and boy. you went 16, so I don't know at all now how we look. <laughs> Tyler's <laughs> like, like okay. brain just went into calculation mode. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Uh, you would have been right to take a couple hundred dollars off for the lack of Pelican case. The total price on the Iron Man Mark I helmet is $3,650. My honest thinking was that because this is like more pieces and it's like made when ordered, that it's like more labor to make, but it's probably just a mold. It does feel like it would be a mold. Yeah. It does. I, I felt like the, because like the process of pouring resin into a prefab mold yeah. is, is not particularly like labor intensive. I do think the artistry that goes into, of course, making it look so detailed yeah. is probably where a ton of the value is. But I would have thought that the cost associated would have been significantly less. Mm -hmm. Man! Guess you were wrong! This is always a category where it's like, I can beat you here. <laughs> I shop more than you. You do. And somehow that doesn't back me up any. Maybe you should start shopping with the prices off. That's that's a fun game. That's a fun <laughs> How game. How much did I pay for that? Oh. <laughs> okay, item number three. Item number three is the Black Panther T'Chaka ring. Also from the Marvel Masterworks collection. However, the other two, they made only 50. They made 250 of these. To note here, it comes in one size only. It comes in the size that T'Chaka and T'Challa would have worn. Makes sense. Uh, so it is not intended to be worn, and it is made of sterling silver. Oh! Ooh. Oh, man. Okay, so there's a couple of moving pieces here. It's super cool looking, first of all. It's very cool looking. You know, when I was buying an engagement ring for my wife, yeah. the ring size yeah. was like such a fiasco for me because I desperately wanted it to be the correct size. Of course. I went with the six and it was correct. Nice, well I got done. Lucky. I got lucky. Bravo. Thanks. So Th this... That day I got lucky, today not so far. So this... the fact that it's made out of like real silver to me stands out, but then they also made 250, which is like yeah. a little less exclusive. A little less exclusive. And it's also, it can't be that much material because it's just a ring. You ready? Yes. Three, two, one. I said 2,000. I said 900. Oh boy. So we're Ooh. in the same zone. You guys are actually equally incorrect. Oh. oh. It is 1,450 and you are both 550 off. Oh, look at that. How about it? Look at that. I made up no ground. <laughs> All right. The fourth item here is an item you've actually guessed before. Oh gosh. It is a Groot puppet from the Marvel Masterworks collection. Oh wow. They made 150 of these. It does come in a Pelican case. Oh, wow. so the $200 that's, is back in play. That's right, throw that on the bed. However, the puppet replica armature is not designed for articulation or manipulation, if that gives you 
and he schmutz to the price. Oh, schmutz! So it's it is a it is a puppet, but not not a puppet for play. More like a statue. Man, it looks real cool. It does look real cool. Mm. Is this okay? So this is this is like young Groot, like this Groot is from baby Groot, baby, baby Groot, Groot from baby Groot. from Guardians Two, because like Groot from Guardians One, yeah, puppet would be like. Like, you well, know. you just bought a tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can keep him in your yard. That'd be pretty great. It would be cool. How much would that cost? Like, you like probably like thirty thousand or something. I think. I think. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like having a car. That's where I'm. That's where I'm aiming. Don't okay. look at my answer. No, of course not. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't want to win because I copied off of your work. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said seventeen hundred. Said 4, oh, you have 40. Oh, okay. So this is a big one. I was thinking this sounds so much more complex than the ring. But it's not made out of silver. But it was sterling silver. Is that not real silver? Sterling silver is less expensive okay. than real silver. The correct answer is $2,550. Oh! Man, I do not have a pulse Look for this. At this. Which puts Jay considerably oh, closer at 850 off, and Ben, you had 1650 off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe how bad I am at well, this. I was only going to do 15, and I was like, Pelican case. 17. Nice, nice, yeah. nice, nice. <laughs> Got to account for the Pelican case. Account. And look, it helped, it helped. By the way, Pelican cases, if you want to sponsor this channel, <laughs> just, just let us know, drop us a line. Item number five. The Doctor Strange Eye of Agamotto oh Marvel my. Masterworks Collection Authentic Film Prop. Now they only made 50 of these. <sighs> Made when ordered, it comes with a light up time stone uh, with a removable magnetic battery compartment hidden in the back panel so you can't see it. The, so not real magic. Oh man. Correct. Okay. Okay. The leather, the lanyard is made of leather, like genuine hand woven leather. Okay. And it does come in a pelican case. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Keep, bear that in mind. <laughs> bear that in mind. Okay. 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 Man, this is, we have purchased in the past pretty cool Eye of Agamotto replicas we and, we do have a couple here but they're have... not this cool also i love that they throw in a cleaning cloth because you're gonna be handling it a lot right because people who buy expensive prop replicas don't have their own specific cleaning utensils for their prop Let's replicas throw that right in the garbage you ready <laughs> yep three two one so 3200 i said 2200 okay. so we're sort of in the same range i got my my 200 dollar Pelican case. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no doubt. The price on the Marvel Masterworks collection is almost entirely determined by how many they make. Is that right? It is. Uh, it looks like if they make 50, they start at 3,500. The Eye of Agamotto, which you just guessed, was 3550. Whoa! I don't want to say I am destroying you with this game, Ben, but Crumb. that Pelican case, that was a good tip. How many <laughs> lines do you put through your dollar set? It is two lines, and two they make lines. a U, and then you cut the bottom of the U for the United States. Oh, is that really how they came up with the dollar sign? So it's yep. like this? At least, I mean, that was from like, I don't know, probably like a Tumblr post I saw in seventh grade, and I've just held on to that. Belief. Oh, so this is... <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. That's a fun fact. <laughs> it is a fun fact. You want to know what's not fun? Losing this badly. <laughs> Guys, we need to take a brief pause to give a huge thank you to today's sponsors, Purple and DoorDash. I don't know about you guys, but in my house, it seems like pillows are multiplying. Every single time I turn around, there's three to four new perfectly karate chop throw pillows improving the feng shui of the space. It's great. I think, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure. My wife says it is and I get to karate chop stuff, so that seems fair. But one recent addition to my lineup does not scream, it's fall y'all, but instead does something 10 times better. It helps me sleep. Recently, Purple sent me over one of their amazing pillows and man oh mayonnaise, it has been a game changer. Purple has a special patented purple grid technology that sets its pillows and mattresses apart from anyone else. It's designed to immediately adapt to your body's natural shape and sleep style. For me personally, I'm a stomach sleeper, which means that frequently my neck is all like cricked up like this. So I have what I've personally coined a hugging pillow for maximum comfort. But I also overheat like crazy, which is where the purple pillow has been a massive game changer. That special grid design allows for so much more airflow that you're always on the cool side of the pillow. No need for 
flipping. Guys, you can, and I highly recommend you do, check out Purple, where you can shop risk-free because they have free shipping and returns. And Purple even has 0% APR financing for qualified buyers. Experience the Purple Grid and you'll sleep like you never have before. Go to purple.com slash J versus B10 and use promo code J versus B10 at checkout for 10% off orders over $200 or more. Again, that is purple.com slash J versus B10, promo code J versus B10 at checkout for 10% off orders over $200 or more. Link and information in the description down below. Today's video was also brought to you by DoorDash. We are definitely living during unusual times. And one of the things that I miss the absolute most is just being able to skip preparing dinner altogether and buzz out to our restaurant for dinner with my friends. But DoorDash actually provides a really great way to still get that experience while still practicing proper social distancing. One practice that my friends and I have started doing is basically setting a budget and ordering dinners for each other to surprise them with a particular meal. So on a selected night, we will have a fun meal delivered to our doorstep contact free. And then we can FaceTime in with our friends and give our reaction to the meal they sent us and see their reaction to the meal we sent them. It has been so much fun. It makes the distance not feel so far. And it's a great way to continue to support local restaurants that I love in the meantime. I highly recommend you give this new version of a couple's date night a shot. And right now our viewers can get $5 off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and use promo code J versus B at checkout. Again, that is code J versus B for $5 off that first order. All of the information and links is in the description down below. We are now leaving the Marvel Masterworks collection. About darn time. We are on to item number six. This is from Garmin and it is a first Avenger smartwatch. Special edition. The leather band that the watch uh, has on it is inspired premium tactical leather, similar to what tactical leather, uh, like a special agent in the military would be using. Okay. And then it's a stainless steel framing and leather and silicone is what it's made of. Okay. There's a lot going on in this watch. There's a lot going on with this watch. <clears throat> now, I also, I need to like recalibrate from all of these like insane prop replicas as well. Now, I'm also thinking like smartwatch by like today's standards versus like smartwatch standards for the first, when the first Avenger came out. Right. You know that's what I mean? All, that's also a fair, a fair shake. Yeah. I don't know when it was released. I do not have that information. <laughs> uh, my, my best guess, however, is that it came out with the movie. With the movie. Okay. Uh, because the subsequent Captain America movies were better. The second watch face that's shown, I think is very, very cool. Very comic inspired. And then the etching on the back says, I can do this all day. I can oh. do this all day. I, I know. <laughs> oh man. Uh, there's nothing better than Steve Rogers being annoyed with Steve Rogers. So he's like, oh gosh, I was so lucky. No Pelican case though, right? No, no Pelican case. No okay. Pelican case. It does have its own special casing though. Okay. Well, it's okay. own special presentation. All right. I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Yep. One, two, three. I said 15 hundo. I said 650. Uh, I was like, smart watches today cost over $1,000. Maybe they didn't then. I don't well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I, I was basing it a considerable amount off of, like, I don't know how much extra the, the Marvel Special Edition would cost. I have once had a Garmin smartwatch. Okay. And so I'm thinking like, okay, if we're going to add a little, like, you know, yeah. a little tax on top of it. Yeah. That feels like justifiable. Yeah. Although, okay. Let's see. Did personal experience help at all? Personal experience did help. The oh, no. price on the Captain America watch is but a mere $400. Oh, wow. man. Wow. Okay. I, was, I, I went too much off of today. So Ben takes a, not a lead, but saves himself. You got 250, Jonathan got 1100. So, so good. I needed that. Way in. I needed yep. that. Okay. Maybe, maybe all of my skill was just in the masterworks. Maybe, maybe you're, maybe you're I more just like have a, a good eye for really, really nice things. High end connoisseur. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, dear no. me. Oh, this is impossible. Oh boy. Okay. So item number seven, we have Captain America shield cufflinks. Now, this is a set of two cufflinks that are silver plated sterling silver. I don't think that they're reversible. The shield is definitely supposed to be on the outside, but on the reverse where the button for the cufflink is, is the word Marvel and also sort of like a cufflink style. And that's all the information I have. Okay. 
<gasps> the world of cufflinks is outrageous. Completely. I it, mean, this could this could be so immensely it, variable. It, it can. This is one where I've looked at like custom cufflinks before and been so enamored by the, the way in which they were created and stuff, but then looked at the price and was like, no. Way! I have no idea what to think about these. Cufflinks are such a such a thing. I, like, are cufflinks currently in? Uh, no. People do not dress formal right now. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe At if all. these were sweatpant links. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why are there not those? I Maybe, I don't know. I've never heard of them at all. I just made them up, so. Well, I think it should be a thing. Yeah. Sweatpant links. Sweatpant links. It's, it's like, like, it's like, like the having... end of your, like your... The cord you tie off, you know. Oh, you'd have like a like instead of like a, a cord, you'd have like, like a, a just a, like a very like really fancy aglets basically for your sweatpants. Nice. Yeah. I was thinking like at the bottom of your of, of your sweat pant, mm. you know, like typically these are real boxy, like but typically there's like a zipper area like right here. Oh. If instead oh, oh. of being zippered, you had like a little like li little linkage right there. I see what yeah. you're saying. So these are these are like athletic sweatpants you've got on. I suppose. Well, I mean, there's. Yeah. They're certainly not my like formal sweatpants. Well, oh that man, that I would wear to so... a meeting, a gathering. I just I feel okay. very uncomfortable with this, but it's my down the middle guess. Okay, 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 okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Two five hundred. Ding, 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 ding. They cost two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, what? At least no I get way. to go home with you that. Got, you got one exactly right. At least I oh, get. Oh, does man. that mean you get the cufflinks? That should be maybe. Does it? I don't know. Not Can in you my buy budget. them? <laughs> Do I have to buy you? We should. I'm glad we didn't establish that rule. I know, right? Although, could you imagine if it happened with like the shield? Yeah. And it was like. Oh man. <laughs> of course you can't buy those anymore. So we well, have to go off eBay. eBay prices. That doesn't sound fair. Oh sounds well, well good. done, bravo. So Thank I guess you, you gained two fifty on me. Yes. But will it be enough? No. No mystery here. Item number eight. A oh, Thor boy. God of Thunder pewter figurine by Royal Selangor. Oh man. I'm sure I butchered that. Uh, they're made entirely of pewter and it is six and a quarter inches high, including the base and eight and a quarter inches in diameter. How hefty. I would love to have this. This is cool. It's very cool looking. You could play, you could play some serious Dungeons and Dragons with this. Be like, God of Thunder. <laughs> right, yeah, Thunk. yeah. Here's my mini figurine, not so mini. I have chosen to be the God of Thunder. I am, you can call me Thor Odinson. I am level 20, I think, right? Is that good? That is the maximum level. Yes, yeah. nailed it, That's like always. Right. Yep. By the way, if you haven't listened to our podcast, Popcorn Culture, the last episode, or maybe a couple episodes ago now, Ben and I came up with lovely D&D names. We did. You can follow the adventures of Belly and Jam. <laughs> Belly has a six pack of beer. Wait, can we play? Maybe. We'll consider it. We'll consider it. Okay. 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 Let's get, let's guess it. We're just stalling. Well, yeah. Because we don't sure. know. No, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This feels, you know, to me, this is mm -hmm. going to like come in the mail and you're going to be like, this is heavy. It's there's nothing better. I've said this before on this game than a good weight. You know, <sighs> you good like I play a game when I go to the TJ Maxx with yeah. Allie, where we say heavy or light, and then we pick up an object, and then the other person has to say whether or not it's going to be heavy or light, and then you hand it to them. Yeah, it's the most fun game ever. Wow. Quarantine's been real good to you guys. Now we just have to play no. at home and we know all the objects. So <laughs> we know the weight of everything in our house. <laughs> now we have to take out our kitchen scale and do it by grams. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm going to yes. take a conservative stab at putting my US dollar sign. How much would I pay for this is all I can go by here. I think, okay, I'm gonna go by this. I think he wouldn't buy it. Well, I probably wouldn't, but. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay, I'm Three, ready. two, one. I said 850. I said $1,000. We're 250 off two in a row. Whoa, weird. Weird. Well, That's 150, sorry, 150 off. 150 off. I yeah. can math. We spent the math budget a lot of those Frozen videos, guys. Sorry. We'll never recover. You are, however, 150 off, Jay. It is uh, $700. Oh, I thought you were going to have him be exactly right again. I was like, <laughs> no way. All of a sudden, Ben's like, in the zone. Okay. It was seven hundred dollars. Yes. All right. Man. Well, man. I gained well, there some goes more my two fifty. <laughs> I gained back. So uh, coming into the final item, uh, Ben, your total is eighty five hundred, and Jonathan, you are at five thousand. So I'm so, thirty five hundred away. 
Thirty-five hundred away. So you need to really mess I up. Really and I need, need to, to really nail up. it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Here it is. Here it is. Oh! oh! It looks cool. The ninth item is the Infinity Gauntlet by Caviar. This gauntlet is covered with gold and decorated with six semi-precious stones: topaz, peridot, amethyst, garnet, citrine, and amber. The accessory with a fantastic look hides a wireless iPhone charger in itself, which is fixed in the palm. That's right. It's a phone charger and a gold-plated gauntlet. Wow. The the fact that it, I'm almost upset that it charges your phone because it feels like it takes away from. I completely it makes it way agree. less cool. I I think that it should not be a phone charger. I think it should not. I'm sure it is outrageously expensive, but I will not say that it looks like the fingers look too short or something. So you're you're really like taking issue with it. Well, look, if I'm gonna pay for a gold plated thing with genuine semi precious stones in it, can you imagine if this is on your bedside table and like you go to bed at night and you're just like high five. Yeah, high five it and then place your phone in its in its handy little holster. Mm, man, what an item. Like caviar? I have no idea. The fact that the company is called caviar tells me something. It tells me this. It tells, you it tells me US dollar signs. <laughs> yes, I know. That I've now learned about. <laughs> this is the most extra thing I've ever seen. So this is the only item in our game today that is not on Shop Disney, where you could have purchased the other eight items. Our pricing may be a little wonky, but the price that I have is a real price that people have paid for this item. So people have bought it. Yes, it has been purchased. Someone's charging their phone with this thing. At least a version of an iPhone with this thing. <laughs> That's kind of right. Right. Like Apple needed to this agree to never your... change the shape of the iPhone again if you're gonna buy this. Yeah. Which makes me think that the only person who bought it is the CEO of Apple. Tim Cook. Tim Cook. Nice job, Tim. Congratulations on your gauntlet. <laughs> the fact that it's gold, it has real stones in it. This is... So covered with gold, that's like a dicey thing. So do you remember when we were kids and Burger King was selling gold plated like Pokemon oh, yeah. plates? Mm -hmm. Like those were like 24 karat gold plated things and you could buy them like with your Happy Meal for like $10. Uh -huh. How far does gold plating go? Right, right. And then even like the... Um, the like, precious stones. Yeah, like they're they're like birthstones. Yes, now semi-precious refers to the type of stones, not the quality of finish. It's not like rubies and emeralds and sapphires in there. Got lightning damage <laughs> or magic find. No, there's no doubt about that. Was that a Diablo 2 reference? Sure was. <laughs> nice. I'm, gonna, oh, I'm is... so lost in thought that I didn't even pick up on it. Okay, I, um, this feels like one though. I'm almost be... glad that Jordan put this one last. Yeah, because it could I, be anywhere. It could be anywhere. We know it's less than $10,000. Ah, this is so weird because it's something I just would not buy. <laughs> It mostly, I would say, is because of the, the phone charger. The phone charger. Okay, 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 okay. Enough bullying caviar for that decision. What is even caviar? A caviar is fish eggs. No, I, I know that. Oh. <laughs> Why are they making an infinity gauntlet? Part of me is like, I can just try and be conservative and stop you from gaining $3,500 on me. Well, well breaking the game it. rather than playing the game. Mm -hmm. I know. That doesn't feel within the spirit of things. It doesn't. No. It doesn't. It doesn't. I agree. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do this and call it a day. It's also because we're playing a game and it's like, I feel like Jordan must have picked really uniquely expensive things. Okay. And it's like, and it's like the last item, so I'm like putting extra, th okay. All right, ready? Okay, three, two, one. I said 4,500. I said 5,001. What I thought you might do is just put 5,000, okay. which would be like, that way if it's radically expensive or radically inexpensive, mm -hmm. one way or another, you would you would still be like close to, close to it. Close to it. Yeah. So basically, yeah, my thinking was like, like if you did 5,000, I wanted to err on the side of it being slightly more, more expensive. expensive. Uh, the correct yeah. price is $7,540, oh which did close the lead just a little bit by about 500. Uh, Jonathan, you win with a total of 8,040 off and Ben, you lose at 11,039. Oh man, what a game, what a game. This was how much? Seven thousand five hundred forty dollars. It's phone way charger. too much. To me, you could take the phone charger away and increase the price another five hundo, and it would make more sense to me. Yeah, I completely agree with you. What on earth? That was fun. And people own it. it according to Jordan, people own this. This is that's. Well, it, it feels anyway, like- Anyway, I'm going to return your birthday present. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got you all unique phone chargers. <laughs> Whatever. Whoops. I feel like now, I would just turn it around and be like, no. Guys, we no should- No one has to know. We one should make that like, a, like our brotherly annual Christmas tradition is that we get each other phone chargers. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, and that's the game. That's the game to get the coolest one. To like, no, like to cater your phone charger so specifically to the person you're shopping for. Mm. So for me, for example, I love the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. And I think that you guys should really go halvesies. <laughs> I think you'd have a hard time reselling this. Yeah, <laughs> I agree completely. Especially since like new iPhones come this, out this month. This to me is one of those things like when you watch a lot of those like antique hunting shows, like yeah. where people go looking for stuff. It's like, it is worth this much money. Right. But like, will anyone ever buy it? Probably not. I want to call Caviar and be like, y'all, I want sales numbers here. <laughs> like, let me. How you many? Will. How many did you sell? How many? Does anyone have it? Four. Does anyone watching have this? Did what they're is pulling their phone off the charger like I thought it was pretty <laughs> cool. <Yeah. laughs> That's the thing that people have home... like unsubscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Well, guys, how did you do at home? Did you also beat me by a lot? I'm sure you did. Congratulations in advance. But did you also beat me by a lot? Because I'm also sure you probably did. Because you guys are probably pretty smart. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. They are. Yeah. 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 I don't think we would stand a chance against the people at home. Home. No, I don't think so, but I, this was a fun game. This I was a fun this. game, and thank you to our office manager, Jordan, who found really neat stuff, and special thank you also to our younger brother, Tyler, for being the voice of today's episode and yes. all of the J versus Ben episodes. Yes, thank you guys so much for uh, watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like on it if you haven't already. If you want to see more price guessing fun, you can check out this J versus Ben right here where we guess a bunch of Harry Potter prices. Or if you want to hear more of Tyler's voice, you can check out his podcast called Bacon and Eggs, a movie lover's podcast right here. But until next time, bye! bye.